Hey y'all, I know, long time no see, but I have a great explanation. I was out here trying to get my life. I did finish doing two films. One film I did in Atlanta with Tyler Perry called Nobody's Fool, and the other film I was able to do in Philadelphia, my hometown, can you believe that? Called The Nomads Movie with Brandon E. Kamen. Both movies are so amazing. I cannot wait for y'all to see them, and I'm not just saying that because I work here. Okay, so let's get straight into this video. Today we are going to be talking about the difference between ceramic iron and titanium. A lot of people raise this question all the time, and I hope you get your answer today. Now, Sherry has not had any heat in her hair for the past six months, but she's given up on her no heat journey and trading it in for a low heat journey, and that's okay. Now your blow dryer and your Denman brush is going to evenly distribute that product all throughout the hair. So you won't need to put anything else on it before you flat iron. I am going to press her hair out using my 1 inch crystal iron by EAP Heat. I am now setting the iron to 395 degrees. Now, 395 is obviously hot enough to get her hair straight, but it's nowhere near as hot as I would usually have my iron. So I'm gonna make sure to take extra thin sections to make sure that her hair is straight so I don't have to go over any piece of hair more than once. Now, the iron that I'm using today is a ceramic iron. Ceramic and titanium irons are the two most popular tools that professionals use and both of them are very effective but let's talk about the difference between the two now ceramic irons plates allow you to have more of an even distribution of the heat throughout the plates so that's giving you like a lower chance of burning your hair especially if you're doing your hair at home so that helps. You also want to make sure that your ceramic plates are ceramic all the way through and not just coated. Because if it's coated, then they can chip and then you'll end up snagging your hair. Titanium irons, on the other hand, the plates heat up very fast and they also transfer heat to your hair faster than ceramic irons. If you use them properly, there is less chance of heat damage, but there is a really thin line between no heat damage and completely ruining your curl pattern with titanium irons because they get hot so it's all about heat control and i recommend being a professional or at least know exactly what you're doing if you use titanium irons now we're just going to add the last finishing touches with the glass brilliant shine you know i never finish a hairstyle without it So as you can see, her hair looks really good. It's in great shape. We don't need to trim it because we did that not too long ago. And now she is on her low heat journey instead of her no heat journey. And in about six months, we're gonna do it again. Ha, <laughs> 